subscribe the channel prostech and press the bell icon to get latest technology videos once we release more importantly the subscription to the channel is completely free friends so starting with the galaxy a9 2018 it runs android 8.1 oreo and powered by qualcomm snapdragon 660 processor with 2.2 GHz octa-core and with Adreno 512. Whereas POCO F1 device, it runs Android 8.1 Oreo, powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor with 2.8 GHz octa-core with GPU Adreno 630. Moving on to display then Galaxy A9 2018, a 6.3 inches device that comes with Super AMOLED display and also comes with the resolution of 2220 by 1080 pixels and 392 ppi pixels density friends this phone comes with samsung pay feature as well whereas poco f1 is 6.18 inches device with ips lcd full hd plus display having resolution 2246 by 1080 pixels and 403 ppi pixels density this phone comes with screen protection of corning gorilla glass 3 with polycarbonated body and liquid cool technology and also comes with miui 9.6 Talking about the internal memory, then Galaxy A9 comes with 128GB with 6 or 8GB RAM. Here in this device, up to 512GB microSD support is also available as a dedicated memory slot. Friends, as far as concerned about colors for this device, then Samsung has produced this device in caviar black, lemonade blue and bubblegum pink colors. Moving on to POCO F1, it is available in different variants of primary storage. You can get 256GB with 8GB RAM or 64 or 128GB with 6GB RAM. But there is no microSD support. Friends, for your convenience and interest, this phone is produced in different colors like in graphite black, steel blue, rosso red and in armored edition with Kevlar colors. If we talk about the dimension of Galaxy A9, it measures 162.5 by 77 by 7.8 mm of thickness and comes in 183 grams of weight with dual nano SIM. Whereas for dimension of POCO F1, it measures 155.5 by 75.3 by 8.8 mm of height, width and thickness and 180 grams of weight with dual hybrid nano SIM. About the camera then Galaxy A9 features the world's first quad smartphone camera to capture life the way it was meant to be seen. Its intelligent camera system gives you four times the functionality for whatever the occasion. Now you can capture with confidence when inspiration strikes. This phone comes with quad 24, 8, 10 and 5 megapixels primary cameras with 1.7, 2.4, 2.4 and 2.2 apertures respectively. These cameras are ultra-wide telephoto, main and depth cameras. You can also find PDAF, 2x optical zoom, panorama mode, HDR and LED flash. It shoot out 4K and full HD videos at 30 frames per second. Galaxy A9 also equipped with 24 megapixels secondary camera with 2.0 aperture for selfie shootouts with HDR and 1080p recording at 30 frames per second. Moving on to primary camera of POCO F1, it comes with dual 12 megapixels primary camera with 1.9 aperture and 5 megapixels with 2.0 aperture featuring dual pixel PDAF, dual LED flash, HDR and panorama mode. It shoot out 4K videos at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 30 and 240 frames per second. POCO F1 also equipped with 20 megapixels secondary camera with 2.0 aperture. Friends, in Galaxy A9, you can find faster fingerprint scanner placed on the rear side of this phone. It also comes with different sensors like accelerometer, proximity, compass and gyro sensors. This phone comes with Wi-Fi, dual band, Wi-Fi direct hotspot, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC, FM radio, Type-C reversible connector and fast battery charging feature. This phone is also powered by 3800 mAh non-removable battery as well. Whereas in POCO F1, you can find infrared face unlock, rear mounted fingerprint scanner, accelerometer, gyro proximity barometer and compass in this device. This phone comes with Wi-Fi, dual band, Wi-Fi direct, DLNA, hotspot, Bluetooth, GPS, FM radio, recording, fast battery charging, type C reversible connector and powered by 4000 mAh non-removable battery as well. 
So that was the quick comparison of both smartphones. You can also check further details in the description below. What do you think about these smartphones? Do let us know in the comments section below. I hope you liked this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.